Hey guys and welcome back for this week's I Tried It video. We're going to be trying the ponytail curls look. Um, I can't really credit one person for this because I've seen this done over and over again all over like Pinterest and social media and YouTube. So I think it's, I don't know the person that invented it. If you do know the person that invented this idea, please let me know in the comments section so I can credit them. I have a piece of hair stuck to me. Um, but essentially what you do is you put your hair in a ponytail, you curl the ponytail, and then you take your hair down and you're left with this, basically. Um, so you guys can see how to do it. What you'll need is a brush, some volumizing spray or dry shampoo, some hairspray, a hair elastic, and a bunch of bobby pins. I have these like diesel ass bobby pins from when I got married. They're huge and she used them and they held my hair extremely well. So if you have these, these are great. If you don't, regular bobby pins will do. Or if you have clips like this, that will work as well. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh, you're also gonna need a curling wand or a curling iron. Okay, so for the first step, I just took my hair out of some pigtail buns. And I haven't really, this is second day hair, so I didn't wash it yesterday, I washed it the day before. So there's definitely like some leftover product in here. Um, so as I brush it, I also wore it like slightly wavy, so there might be some frizziness happening after I brush it. But we're just gonna have to work with that. So I'm going to put a bit of a high ponytail in. I'm just gonna take this thick hair elastic. So I'm just going to kind of jump into it. I'm using my Numi, I don't know what this is, Numi something. I'll, I'll try and find like the exact name for it. But I think it's a one inch barrel. A one inch? No, it's definitely, I think it's a two inch barrel. I'm pretty sure it's a two inch barrel. And I have it set on 370. I think I'm going to bump it up to 390 just because I have pretty thick hair. And let's see. So I'm just going to separate the hair a little bit. So I'm going to take like, I'm going to try to do relatively small sections. So I'm just going to kind of clip that out of the way and see what happens. This, this feels a little thick. Maybe I should separate it into two. All right. And I'm going to leave it on for about 10 seconds. to attempt to pin it so that it sets. I'm just going to kind of pin it down. There, easy enough. All right. Ten seconds. Gently let it fall into your hand and then clip it. You know, my arms need a break. I have to mention a YouTuber that I've been watching recently and I just kind of discovered her more on the recent side, but it's her name is Rob Beauty Christie and I have been like obsessed with watching her lately. I just, I, I find her hilarious, and I love like how real she is, and I don't know, I just, I watch her. She's like therapy for me. Side note. Okay, so this is what we have right now. All of the curls are pinned up. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of hairspray. This is the Garnier Fructis Volume and Plush volume hairspray. Spoiler alert, I don't really like this very much. I prefer a stronger hold um, hairspray and this just does, doesn't do the trick for me. So my camera's kind of on its last legs of life right now so I'm only going to let these sit for a little bit. They're mostly cool and I think the important part is just to let them cool. 
So I'm going to start taking out the pins and we'll see what we have. The process itself was easy. Um, it really was. I think the hardest part is probably just catching the curl and pinning it to your head. Sometimes that can be a little tricky because the wand is so hot. Um, but aside from that, it was really easy and pretty quick. I mean, it took me under 10 minutes. And I have pretty long hair and pretty thick hair. So if you have hair that's different from mine, it might even be quicker or it might take a little longer. I like using a wand too as opposed to a curling iron with a clip just because I find it to be a lot easier. All right, so we have our curls. Let's take out the hair tie and see. I probably have like some rogue bobby pins in my hair. I'm looking in this like tiny makeup mirror, so I'm trying to get a feel for Got this a little in my Sephora Play Box unboxing, but this is the first time I am using it on camera. I like it. It's not like the best dry shampoo volume enhancer I've used, but it, it does the trick. The smell, the fragrance is very strong and it literally sticks with you throughout the entire day. But it's not a bad smell. So if you don't mind it, you might actually like the fact that I can literally smell it throughout the entire day. So I like to just give my roots a little volume. And we're going to go back in with this hairspray that I don't like. Normally I flip my head over. Give that a bunch of juice. And then I'll probably just kind of brush the outsides to tame down some of the frizziness. I don't know, guys. It, it's okay. It's all right. I don't think it's anything like spectacular, but it definitely gave my hair more volume. But there's not, like the curls aren't kind of the way I like them typically. It's a little bit too, I don't know, random for me. For me to think it looks good. It's a little bit too like all over the place. Um, but with that said, it definitely, it can be worked with. Like, I feel like if you went back in with the wand and touched up a few areas, it could look really cute, but just on its own, I don't know that it's something I'm going to be using frequently. Um, I don't know. I just, it's just okay. You know, it's not, it's not terrible. It's not great. Again, if you have shorter hair, if you have thinner hair, this might be a miracle worker for you. I just don't think it's enough curl for me to think it actually looks like really that good. But again, you know, it's not bad. It's really not bad. So that concludes my I Tried It video for this week. I hope you guys liked it and please feel free to like and subscribe if you like these types of videos and leave comments below for other ideas for I Tried It videos. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon.